Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Good afternoon from Ranger Rob Country Living. And uh, today we've been using the new chainsaw, the uh, steel MS-250. And uh, we got this house clear. And uh, I am kind of concerned that these roots are going right up against the house. And uh, so we're going to see if we can't find something that actually kills the roots. And uh, we did see some techniques that may work. And we'll see. But that's really close to the house. Anyway, our ultimate goal, if you haven't figured it out, is we're going to put new siding on this house. But I want to show you what a mess we got. Now, if you're wondering why we bought a wood chipper, now you know why. And some of this is too big for the wood chipper. So, uh, and this is just a fraction. Our pile is twice the size it, it was. So this is what we did this morning. Uh, I'll show you what Sherry's been working on this morning later, but let me take you over here. So over time, these uh, trees have just been growing. It's a lot of them, we have a couple of dead pine trees. And uh, in our front part here, we got this beautiful area in the ponds over there. And uh, so when Sherry's mowing, she's finding herself ducking and dodging a lot. So we came over here. <laughs> Sorry, more property than I thought. And uh, these are flower beds that need to be done too. They may be next year's projects. But uh, we had some branches down low here. Uh, a couple of trees we really didn't want here. Uh, we got a juniper out of control down below here. We'll be cutting that back. And uh, some of the smaller little trees trying to pop up here, we'll use uh, our regular garden cutters in here. But uh, <laughs> you see, I got branches everywhere. And then we have an old pine tree here uh, uh, that's completely dead. We had to cut some of the branches off. That's what all this is down here. And uh, now there's so much, I think we're going to have to move these branches to the back using our tractor. It's just too much. Anyway, uh, I've been using that new steel uh, chainsaw. And it, it's actually very simple to operate. Anyway, that's it right there. And, uh, get a good look at it and uh, it's, it did a great job we're very happy so let's move on we interrupt this program for a little dog playtime you guys are dorks what you got <laughs> are you kidding me you guys are silly so that's how we get branches all over the yard before we get them put into the burn pile we'll go hit here gosh you crazy dogs so sherry this morning has been working back here and oh my goodness she's been grinding away at this so what did we do i did this one last night yep we still need to put the we, mulching and weed killer right yeah and then i kind of started over there and i'm kind of working my way around getting the, the weeds out and then put the mulching so oh, i mean you literally she just sits down in the dirt gets filthy yeah. and just digs and uh i salute her this is definitely amazing what she's doing uh i just do kind of outside backup i'm basically useless but uh, other than staying out of her way, being patient, making sure that she has the time to spend out here that she wants. So, uh, yeah, it's, this is the top. I think this is one of the toughest. That'll be the toughest over there. Over here? Yeah. 
Yeah, that'll be, this will be just glorious once we get it cleaned up. We're going to put pea gravel in here, right? Mm -hmm. Get this a walkway again. We can actually see the cement again. This was so overgrown. Very bad. And uh, these are actually little strawberries in here. Um, and over here too, all strawberries. But you can see uh, yesterday's video, I talked about ch changing out the handle on the pressure sprayer. Now you can see why we want it because these just just been well, up in the, underneath the eaves there. It's just good. <laughs> yeah. You get all these cobwebs and stuff under here. And get tons of cobwebs and spiders, spiders and critters and, critters and, and, and it's just gross. Anyway, we need to uh, high pressure right. Some of these windows just you haven't been able to get to them, so they all need sprayed. So we're going to have a heyday on a hopefully sunny day if there's any left. And uh, spray the heck out of here. Did you realize mm -hmm. you get some sprayers back here? Uh -huh. <laughs> we keep finding little gems. So there you go. Sherry has been working hard. And uh, I, I'm just, it's amazing. And uh, <laughs> these two have not been working hard. These two have been trouble. You've been playing hard, huh? So, uh, and of course we got more branches there, along with what I showed you over there already. So, uh, yeah, I think I gotta probably pull out the tractor and start gathering branches. Gathering time, people, gathering time. So, uh, since we got so many new subscribers, uh, my channel used to be a lot about RVing. So a few of you have kind of been curious about what we have back here. This is a Montana, 2013 2625 RE. RE means rear entertainment. Uh, this has been a fantastic machine. Very little problems. Uh, unfortunately, sitting here too long, I'm getting a little oxidation and stuff, but all in all, she's doing good. And uh, once I got her sealed up good, I don't have any trouble with critters. Uh, but I thought I'd give you a quick peek at the inside of this. We, we lived in this full time, several times, and uh, it's going to be a little dark at first. Uh, let's see if I can get some lights on here. Um, one moment, please. So, this is the inside. Let's see if I can't get a light on in here. Might help out a little bit. So this is what they call the rear entertainment living room area. This thing is as clean as a bug. Whatever that is. And uh, dining room table, nice little kitchen, a beautiful uh, master bedroom with king size bed. Let me turn on the light in here. So that's it there. A little television. Uh, <coughs> bathroom and shower. My dog just hit it. So, uh, nice little shower. Uh, just a really nice unit. We've uh unfortunately we bought it new which kind of we financed it and put us kind of underwater on it but it's okay because with family coming up and things like that it works out really good as soon as our big projects are done between now and spring we're gonna actually go camping again how nice that would be so this is uh our fifth wheel and let me shut off some lights and move on. I think the funny thing about this fifth wheel is when we have guests over they think it's like a trailer and it's like no it's a house on wheels <laughs> so if they want to have a heater on watch television uh, use a microwave it's all there and available and uh, so it kind of blows their mind that it's actually a house on wheels and it's been a very good unit for one is when we're coming up here to take care of uh, and check on her parents before the crisis. And now it's been a great unit for supporting family. And I uh, thought I... So we have this neighbor dog. I thought I'd show you. That Bell just loves to bark at. And sometimes they do a, a racing game. Come on, go, go, go! Okay. Of course, they're all going to just stand there. But, uh, there we go. Go, 
Go guys, go! Go, 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 go! Come on guys! Come on! Alright guys! <laughs> Come on. So if you haven't noticed, German Shepherds are very vocal. Uh, but she would not hurt a fly. But it sounds terrible when they're playing. But that's how they play. And it's kind of hard to get used to. So anyway. <laughs> I think I'm going to wrap this video up here. Uh, today, possibly tomorrow, we'll be uh, using the tractor to get some of these crazy limbs out of here and then back to using the the uh, wood chub chipper chopper chipper and uh, here's a little fact you might <laughs> today's fact Friday <laughs> is when I did this is back in the day way back in the day my father's father was a lumberjack but back in Framingham um, Massachusetts However, he was known as a chopper. That's what they called him. Anyway, so instead of a lumberjack, he was a chopper. So if you ever heard the word chopper, it might make you think twice about what the word means. But uh, yeah, a chopper was a lumberjack back in those days. Anyway, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you'll be on <laughs> uh, Jeopardy someday and they'll say, what's another name for lumberjack? Chopper! Anyway guys, talk to you later. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share our videos all over, and make sure Aunt Lula, your old Aunt Lula, and great Uncle Albert, share this video to them because they're going, hey, that guy's awesome. <laughs> anyway guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.